on 5th October 1971, at 19.30 hours Zambian time, units of the South African Army entered Zambia illegally at Katimamuro in speedboats and helicopters, allegedly pursuing invisible freedom fighters whom they assumed had entered the Caprivi Strip in the United Nations territory of Namibia through Zambia. The South African Armed Forces spent some time inside Zambia looking for these invisible freedom fighters and on satisfying themselves that they were on a wild goose chase, they shamefully retreated to their military base at the Caprivi Strip. Military experts call this policy hot pursuit, doctrine of anticipatory counterattack, or carrying the war into enemy territory, etc., etc. We've been aware of South Africa's aggressive designs from the time early in 1968, when Mr. Foster, the Prime Minister of South Africa, stated that he would hit Zambia so hard that she would never forget it. On the 4th of October, members of the South African police force were patrolling near the border between the eastern Caprivi and Zambia when their vehicle was blown up by a landmine. Four of the occupants were very seriously injured. On the following day, when other members of the police force were investigating the incident, another landmine exploded, killing one of the police officers concerned. The trail of four persons was found leading from the direction of the Zambian border to the location of the landmines and back again in the direction of the Zambian border. My Prime Minister has repeatedly and publicly warned in the past that the South African government will not tolerate attacks upon our people or the people of South West Africa from across the borders of the Republic or of the Territory. No country, he pointed out, can permit hostile persons or forces to attack with impunity its territory or territories under its control. The Prime Minister of South Africa stated that steps were therefore being taken to pursue the culprits and that the pursuers would defend themselves if they were to be attacked. In point of fact, sir, and I am authorized so to inform the Council the South African police forces did not in the event cross the Zambian border. They followed the trail left by the four persons to where it disappeared within the area of the Caprivi Strip and then returned to their stations. At no time, therefore, was the Zambian border in any way violated. <laughs> 